Hello, everybody. Let's make sure this works. <laughs> How are you guys doing? If you're watching the replay, you're definitely in the right spot. And let me make sure it is working though. Just give me a moment. We're gonna see who shows up. And I'm just making, it's been a while since I've been on live. So let's just make sure that everything's working. Let me, let me know who's here, who joins us. So weird, it says, oh, I went live. What? No, 16 minutes ago, I don't think so. Nope, right now. Okay, perfect. It is working perfectly right now. I'm going to put a link in the thing while I wait for some people to show up. Um, so if you don't know who I am, my name is Heather Hope Reed and I am a manifestation and mindset coach and I run the page, The Millionaire Manifester. So that's me. I am a full-time coach and hmm, and <laughs> you may hear my dog in the background. I'm going to make sure that everything is working before I get into the topic for today. I'm putting a link in the comment section for right now. But let me see what this funny computer of mine wants me to do. It wants me to close out some tabs. So let me go ahead and just do that. I can do that real easy. I have a lot of tabs open. Don't you hate that when you have to close tabs out or when you lose your tabs, you're like, oh no. Then you, have to, you just start over. Let's see if that helps. Find me. Let me know if you're here. Let me know who is here. Let me see. Oh, we do have some people here. Good. Can everybody hear me? Okay, good. It's been a little while. I haven't been on live in many months because I was having a hard time keeping it um, going, just the live itself. There was something wrong, the settings or something, and it was going great for like a couple weeks. So, okay, so let me go ahead and get started so I don't waste anybody's time. Okay, so I did ask earlier this morning, I had this idea to come on live. I've been thinking about it for the last couple of weeks. And um, let me, okay, so bear with me. So the way that I, I run a lot of my lives, I do 11 live streams a month inside my memberships. I have two memberships. One is the Manifesting Zone and the other one is the Powerful Creator Society. And I do 11 group calls a month between the two. So I do a lot of live streams. And what I do is I, I start with a topic, but I go all over the place. So, which is really helpful because then it hits a lot of people's, um, what they need. And I, I just feel like I channel, oops, my microphone just fell. I feel like I, ch I do channel a lot when I do these calls. So, um, yeah. So one of the things I did want to start w just with this one thought that I just had about that for the last week or two, I have had this inkling to come back and do lives on my page. And the reason why I started having that idea was because I was affirming for certain things in my business. And when you start affirming things, th so with my clients, I always help them with, you know, becoming the person they want to be or, you know, becoming successful, becoming um, more productive, that sort of thing, that I always have them start with the mindset. I have them start affirming first, like, you know, saying the story that they want to say or become. And after a while, since they're thinking like the person that they want to become through affirmations, they start getting thoughts of things that they want to do. And it becomes this very natural unfolding 
of like the next step and the next step. And then they become that person so incredibly naturally that there's no effort involved at all. So I always start with the mindset. So you'll, you'll hear a lot of personal development gurus out there who are wanting you to get up at 5 a.m., who wants you to do all of this um, effort and that it takes all this hard work and effort to become successful. And I am extremely um, adamant when it, it doesn't have to be that way. It's, it starts with the thoughts and then you become, you naturally start having these ideas of things that you want to do because you're thinking like the person that you want to be. So it starts with the thoughts. So I'm really huge about your thoughts and your stories and your self-concept. So I have this Abraham. So, so for me t about maybe two weeks ago, I woke up thinking, you know what? I think I'm going to start doing something again. And so, you know, I've been trying to like look at my schedule and try to fit it in. And this morning I woke up again and I'm like, I really want to do one this morning. I'm going to fit it in. I, I'm really busy, but I'm going to fit it in because I really want to do this. So here we are. So I made it work. Okay. So I did put on, let me know who's here and let me know if you guys have any questions along the way. And hopefully I'm going to be able to see them somewhere. Let me know who's here and where you are listening from. Okay. So I was looking through some pictures and I'm like, okay, for some inspiration. Now I did ask earlier what you guys wanted to basically know more about. And there's some really great things in there. But so, so I was looking through my pictures and you'll see one on the screen that says, it's an Abraham quote, you have to tell the story the way you want it to be. Everything that you are living is in response to the story that you are telling, period. So it, I thought it was a great premise to start with because, and I entitled this, how to manifest. Basically it's how to manifest everything you want and to stop manifesting the things that you don't want. And this is what I teach all day long is you are the creator of your reality. Like if you follow me, you know that I, that's what I say. I, I learned that from Abraham or, you know, other teachers many years ago, but you know, you are the chooser of your reality. You get to choose what it is that you want in your reality. All of it. You get to choose it all. So, and it's based upon what you were thinking about. Now there's another quote that I posted the other day. I don't know if I posted it to you guys or to one of my groups, but it was about how it was an Abraham quote talking about, it's really a wonderful thing that we live in a world that is based off on thought and that you are able to freely think any thought that you want. This is really powerful. Since this, this is thought based, you get to choose your thoughts, which means you get to choose your reality based upon the thoughts that you choose. So I am huge about the mental diet having a clean mental diet. What does that look like? It looks like stop talking about the crap that you don't want. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Basically you have to tell the story the way you want it to be. So what do, what do humans out in the world do? Typically across the board, almost, you know, pretty much every human out there tells each other all the things that are going wrong in their life. And they, t they, they think about it. They ruminate, they, they spend all their time thinking about the circumstances they do not like and trying to figure out how to get out of them or they feel stuck, right? Let me know if this resonates with you because this is what I see and this is what I used to experience too. Like all the years I've been into law of attraction and manifestation since 2007. Once the secret came out, I was learning about it and it wasn't until um, sorry, I'm just like checking something. It wasn't until I really got into 
Neville Goddard. Like I, I was solely an Abraham Hicks coach for many years because I really, I, I love Abraham. But when I got into Neville Goddard, it hit me. And this is, this is the path that I see so many of my clients take. They, they tell me the same exact thing. And um, they're like, oh my gosh, yes. Once I got into Neville, I really started to understand it. Like understand fully, like on a deeper level, what Abraham has been saying. And so once I heard, oh, mental diet, you mean all my thoughts kind of matter? Yes, they do. So if you take my manifest, oh, what is it called? The manifesting zone, my membership, there's a 10 course lesson in there. Oh, sorry. 10 lesson course in there that really talks about all this. It's my foundational membership, my foundational course that really dials this in. And even my advanced students and, and clients, when they go through this, they're like, yes, yes, this is it. And I'm like, I know this was the missing piece that I didn't get. I didn't, I just didn't get it fully. And I see thousands of people on my page not getting it as well. And so the thing is, all your thoughts have potential to manifest. Creation's finished, right? So we don't, we don't need to use all your thoughts create, but all your thoughts have potential. There's potential in every thought. Now, if you continue to think that thought, momentum draws it in. Like it is created, it is manifested where you can see it. So the key to getting what it is that you want is to, all you need is, is the desire. You get to choose. Okay, I want this. Like I had a call yesterday, one of my groups in the Powerful Creator Society, yesterday's call was about manifesting an SP, specific person. So in your reality, you get to choose anybody you want to be with wild concept, but it's absolutely true. But you just, you get to decide everything in your reality. You get to choose whatever you want, but you have to stop fucking doubting it. Sorry. You have to stop doubting it. Once in a while that comes out, but once in a while you have to stop doubting it. Now, I'm sorry, not once in a while. You have to stop doubting it. At some point you have to stop doubting it in order for that thing to appear right? Manifestation is just having it appear. It's already here. Everything that you want is already here, but you can't see it because you can't believe it. You can't believe it. You can't believe that things can be so easy. You can't believe that it doesn't take any effort because you have been taught like myself as well that everything takes so much effort. Even the manifestation coaches in this world say this too, that it takes a lot of hard work. And I'm like, in, in, in your reality, it must, because that's what you're teaching, but it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't, it doesn't. So yeah, I was watching this manifestation coach this morning, brand new video. She's like new technique. I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Right. New technique. There's really nothing new guys. And there's really only one way to manifest. It's have a desire, choose something and expect it to show up or already believe that it's here and stop doubting it and stop telling the story that you don't have it and stop telling the story of, I have to figure out how to do this or how to get it. No, you don't. There's no figuring out. You don't have to do that. That's the work of, of, of the, if you want to call it the universe, but you don't have to figure anything out. You just have to choose it and line up with it. So she was like, she's a great coach really cool person on YouTube, but she was just so surprised that all she did was put her attention on something thinking that that would be really cool to have. And then she got it very quickly after that. And she got it for free. And I'm sitting here like, why are you so surprised? If you're a manifestation coach, you should know that that is exactly how it works. And she's all shocked. It's like watching tarot readers get incredibly shocked when the next card that they pull is exactly what they were talking about. I have seen this so many times and I'm like, why are you so shocked? You know, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm, I'm in shock that they're in shock. <laughs> I'm like, this is a natural occurring thing. Like you, 
should be this is what esther hicks does this is what she said for years like when people ask her like i think it was a joke but when people ask her what does she do for you know what does she do in life she goes i i am a pointer i point at things and they show up and that is exactly how manifestation works she knows her ability she knows how powerful she is she knows how this works and all she needs to do is put her attention on something without the doubt and it'll show up it is honestly that easy but most people in this world has have complicated the crap out of manifestation so that was part of my my um wanting to be on here today because i was getting kind of um like what are people talking about okay let me know if you guys have any comments or i don't oh here we go hi sandra okay now i'm seeing comments i wasn't seeing them okay so let me make sure everything's working perfect okay good just i i gotta keep an eye on this system i was gonna go live on my phone on camera but I couldn't get logged in so I'm like okay let's try it I prefer it this way honestly because I get to use my really nice microphone and it makes me feel good okay so let's go back to the picture that I have here you have to tell the story the way you want it to be so you have to just stop telling the old story whatever whatever the old story is that you want to stop manifesting you have to stop telling the story but not only that though you have to stop thinking the old story because your thoughts are so powerful and it's that clean mental diet that will get you where you want to be so you focus on the things that you do want you focus on the good feeling thoughts the good the good things in life you focus on what's going right in your life you focus on the things that make you feel good you focus on a good life and whatever stories whatever things are happening in your life that you don't want to manifest anymore you have to stop thinking about those stories you have to stop thinking about those scenarios it's like um breaking the habit breaking that habit of telling everybody all your problems breaking the habit of when somebody asks you how you're doing or how you're feeling i mean you could be honest but is it helping you can spin it you can be like well you know i've had better days but you know i hope to I hope that today turns out better than it has been already. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of softening it up a little bit, but instead of like, oh my God, I've had such a day. I ran into somebody the other day. Um, <laughs> she was, she was like, I am have. I asked her how she was doing and she's like, I am just not having a good day. I'm not making good decisions. And, um, she had just had vodka delivered to her at 11 a.m. and I look at her I'm like thinking I didn't say this out loud but I'm thinking yeah I can see that's one of them like probably having vodka delivered to your house at 11 a.m. is probably not the greatest decision but whatever and it, it, I don't know if that's going to help any but you know I'm like well I hope you have you know I hope your day gets better and she's just looking at me like she was going to you know about to cry and um <laughs> and i was stood there and i'm like i didn't know how to respond because i'm like i didn't know if i wanted to tell her what i do for a living i didn't want to, i didn't know if i wanted to tell her what i used to do for a living and i'm like oh gosh because i didn't know how much time i had <laughs> and so i'm like oh my gosh so i just said well you know stay positive <laughs> i know people hate hearing that but if you stay positive like I, last night's call in the powerful not powerful um in the manifesting zone we were talking about positive thoughts now it sounds very basic but i'm very big on you know really focusing on having this clean mental diet of 
of really good positive thoughts and becoming this positive person. You don't have to be like jumping off the, you know, jumping, up, jumping around and having all this energy. I'm just saying being this pleasant, happy person all the time. Like I, so one of the things that I do with my clients is I, I help them to achieve this amazing identity of being like the greatest of all time and to kind of encourage them, if not push them, to think that, that they are the greatest and that they can have this clean mental diet and that they can have everything that they want, but they have to stop looking at what they don't want to have. They have to stop looking at, well, you know, my life is a disaster. Well, you're a powerful creator. Whatever you keep looking at is what you keep getting. And if you just break that habit and keep focusing on the vision, even if it's just in your imagination, that is where it needs to, like, that's where it originates from. So if your 3D reality doesn't look like what it is that you want it to look like, go into your imagination and envision the way that you would want things to be and keep going there every day. Go there every day when things don't look great on the outside because the outside only reflects what's going on inside. So your thoughts, you know, the persistent thoughts that you have get reflected back to you from your 3D reality. So the goal is to change your thoughts, change and change your stories. So like Abraham says here, everything that you are living is in response to the story that you are telling, period. What is the story that you're telling? Things are getting better. Everything's working out for me. Things are getting better. What you get to decide that this is the most powerful thing to understand is that you get to decide whether or not your life is going to go better. There is no outside source doing this. It's only you. So you get to decide that. Like if today's been a crap day for you, decide right in this moment that it's not no longer this way, that you're going to stand in your power. You're going to stand right there. And you're going to say, I am a powerful creator. And the rest of this freaking day is going to be amazing. And I don't care. It just will. And you can get angry. You can, you can just yell. You can yell, <laughs> get angry. Anger works very well in manifestation because it's standing in your power. So if you're having a shit day, remember what I just said, just change it in your command as the powerful creator that you are stand there and say, screw this shitty day. I'm going to have a better day now. You can say, I'm going to have the most amazing day. Or you can just say, I'm having a better day now. As of this moment, I'm having a better day. Everything's turned around. You say this. I shared a success story last night. Um, both myself and a friend of mine here um, in California, we both went through the exact same situation of, um, both of our husbands losing our, uh, losing their jobs last month. And, um, and so I told her some things to script, to write in the morning. And, um, cause I thought about her situation and, and I was looking at my own and, um, and I told her to write, you know, this, um, we overcame this period of time of him losing his job and all that. And, having a hard time, you know, making, making the money, you know, <laughs> having a hard time with that, that we overcame this period of time and everything. Oh, you know, hold on. I have it written down. I have to remember because I thought about it. It was about a week ago, just over a week ago that the success story came in. Oops, I'm losing my microphone again. I have it in my journal. So we overcame this period and things picked up overnight. Hold on. Hmm. Uh, my husband got a full-time job with great pay and hours and so on. So I told my friend, do that. Write this down because things were just not looking good for her and her husband. And so she did that and I did that. 
And on the same day, both of our husbands got a job. Like I said something. I said, my husband's getting a job today. And 20 minutes later, I'm not even kidding. He called me and said, I got a job. And I'm like, I just said you were going to. You are the creator of your reality, period. You get to decide. So if you are having a spouse, like you or your spouse lost your job or looking for a job, you say, you know what? This period of t- this, this, this time in our lives, we got through this, right? We got through this period of time and everything changed overnight. Instead of, instead of telling the story of things have been really hard and my husband's been out of work and I don't know what we're going to do and money is getting really tight and I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. And we might end up homeless because, and then I, I just, I spiral. Let's spiral, right? That's what people do. That's the story to stop telling. You have to stand in your power and tell the new story. You know what? Everything changed. You are speaking it into existence. You're speaking everything into existence. Every single moment of your life, you're speaking it into existence and, and immediate results all the time right you see things unfold right in front of your eyes all the time based upon your expectation of what's about to happen oh i bet there's gonna be long lines oh i bet the traffic's gonna be horrendous i bet there's not any parking it's christmas time instead of saying you know what i'm gonna get there at the right exact time where people have already left or i'm gonna you know i'm gonna get there perfect timing where there's a parking spot there's going to be a, you know, nobody's at the, going to be at the store at that time, whatever it is that you need, instead of, you know, the sky is falling. Like that is what is keeping people from not manifesting the life that they want. This is it guys. I wrote a post yesterday. He said, I created the course that basically will solve the problem of like, why am I not manifesting? Because you're not getting that all of this matters, that you are creating it by the thoughts that you're having in this very moment. So, any questions? Anybody still here? <laughs> I'm very limited. Let me, let me see. Oops. Sometimes my comments don't load. That's why I have to take a moment and look at the right spot. But you can join me in the manifesting zone. It is $7 a month and you can cancel anytime. But in that group, we do three live coaching calls similar to this. I'm always on camera though. Similar to this, we have a topic that we go over. And um, the thing about my, my memberships is that I post at least once a day things that I don't post anywhere else. And I find that to be extremely um, effective. So everything that I, I, I just post all the time for my members to help them. So how long have I been here? It's a good question because I do have to go soon. Um, okay. So, but yeah, and if you want something more advanced, I have the Powerful Creator Society, and that is $27 a month, and you get eight coaching calls in there, plus the manifesting zone. You get both, but, um, but we talk about love, SP, money, business. We talk about all of the subjects once a week one of the subjects once a week and then a mindset call the other day of the week. So you get everything for $27 a month. Anyway, just wanted to put that out there and let you know that you are very powerful. You can have anything that you want. And I'm here to help you if you need the help. You can become a lifetime member. You get a coaching call with me, a private coaching call with me if you become a lifetime member. The link is in the comment section if you want to join or check it out a little bit more. But 
yeah, I'm here to help you. If you have any questions, let me know. But just know that you're powerful and everything that you're thinking is basically creating your reality to unfold in front of you. Because it's only you. It's only you doing this. It's only you. And we think thoughts and we have beliefs just based upon what we've experienced in the past. But, you know, actually everything is a limiting belief. <laughs> you can create anything to be a belief. You can create anything at all. You just have to create a belief about it. And undo a lot of those limiting beliefs. Like get rid of them. But you can create, you can make anything true. You can make anything that you want to be true. So if you have, so there's, I guess there's this thing that a lot of people think that I'm just a business coach. And I used to be a few years ago, but I'm actually not just a business coach. Maybe because I post my book every day and it is for business owners, but I cover everything. So sometimes people reach out to me like, well, I know you're a business coach, but blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I'm actually not. I love business, but um, I used to also be a love coach. I used to be a love coach, a money coach, a business coach. And then one day I'm like, I do it all. I, so I'm basically kind of like a life coach to mostly entrepreneurs, but to anybody. Because I cover every subject because I've manifested in all subjects. So we cover everything. Ooh, that was loud. <laughs> Where did that come from? Okay. Any questions, guys? Because I think I'm going to jump off. I hope to be back tomorrow. Let me know right now if you have any questions. <laughs> but um, if not, I will be back. I probably won't. Now that I, this is actually working, I'm very happy that this live stream worked because we're not going to, we're not going to get into the old story. We're just going to go forward and say my live streams always work and my internet is always strong. This is how you just, this, I'm the creator of my reality. So what I say goes, so everything's working out perfectly. Right? Everything's working out perfectly. My life is perfect. These are things I say all day. I say these things all day. My life is perfect. Everything's working out for me. Um, everybody um, caters to me. <laughs> everybody treats me so well. Everyone loves me. All these affirmations. These are things that I say throughout the day to strengthen that self-concept and to have it reflected back to me. Instead of being like, oh, nobody... You know, I used to be that. I used to be be very prideful of being a very independent person or woman. I didn't really want to specify, but a very independent person that I can do everything myself. <laughs> and now I'm like, you know what? The world is taking care of me. My world takes care of me. Everybody caters to my needs. I don't have to lift a finger. Um, you know, that's a really powerful one right there. I've written that in my journal when I really wanted, say I didn't have time. So there was this one day, we, uh, our microwave broke, just stopped working. And I was just had this thought, I'm a part of this one group, and maybe this will help you guys too, because I thought it was cool. I get a lot of things for free. I've, I've always, well, not always, but I'll say, at least for the last 10 years, I've received a lot of things for free, like cars and the you know huge house that I had for eight years that was free um, lots of things a trip to Orlando for free that's a whole story um, all these things for free so I've learned that I don't really need a you know specified amount of money for things like things can just be given to me without even me asking for them actually never asking anybody for anything so um, so I'm in this one group. Somebody told me about this group called Buy Nothing, B-U-Y. I bet it'll help you guys too if you join, if you look into it. On Facebook, check for your city, for your closest, bigger city, maybe towns, I don't know, um, and put in the search bar, Buy Nothing, in whatever city you live near or in. And they're all over the country. And so join the group. And when you are in need of something, 
just post it in a group and see if somebody has it and is willing to give it to you. And then other people have things to give away all the time. And sometimes you just go in there and you're like, oh my God, I would love that dress or I would love those shoes or I would love that kitchen appliance. And you say, yes, I would love that. And you may be able to get it. And it's really great because people don't need to spend money. So anyway, long story short, our microwave stopped working. And I'm like, I didn't really have much time to like go figure out to go get a, you know, a new one. And so I just had this thought, oh, check in, buy nothing. And so I did. And within 10 minutes, somebody's like, yes, I have a microwave. That'll be perfect. So we got it. And so actually the logistics weren't working out in that very moment. I was like super busy that morning and like with calls and clients. And I'm just like looking at my schedule and I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to get to the other side of town today. <laughs> and so, so in the middle of our conversation, going back and forth with this lady, um, I wrote in my notebook, my journal, I said, I never have to lift a finger to get what I want. That's all I did. And she immediately got back to me and said, oh, you know what? Yeah, I will be in your area, actually, and I can drop it off. And I said, oh, okay, perfect. And that's all you have to do. So and if things are looking like you can't, like you have to do it or you don't want to, you just say, I don't have to lift a finger to get what I want. I mean, that's a great belief to have to adopt anyway, because it is true. Well, I mean, it is true if you believe it to be true. But a lot of people don't believe that to be true. Like, I have to work really hard. That's what a lot of people think. I have to work really hard to get what I want. That, that is just a belief. If you want to believe that everything is handed to you on a silver platter, go write that down and say it every morning. And watch, your ref watch the reflection of your reality where people just show up with silver platters and you're like, what the hell? Like for real, you can make anything true. You just have to be creative enough and bold enough to be like, you know what? I don't want to work hard. I want to sit on my throne and eat bonbons all day. Whatever it is you want. Like some people do want to work hard and that's great, whatever. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. You just have to be like, you know what? This is what I want. I want this to be my reality. So when a manifestation coach on YouTube is like in all kinds of shock that all she did was say, oh, that I would really love that. And then it shows up and she's shocked about it. Good Lord. I don't understand these people. That is how it's supposed to work. Real quick. I'll tell you talking about Orlando, Florida, right? I've shared this a few times in the past, but, um, a couple of years ago, I was walking in my, the house that I used to have in Arizona that I got, you know, I had had for year for years for free. Um, we had offices on opposite sides of this library in the house. And, um, and I was walking to my husband's office and for some weird reason, Florida came up in my head. I don't know if the, we had talked about it previously or what. And I mumbled under my breath and I said, I wouldn't go back to Florida unless I was, unless it was paid for. That's how much I don't like Florida. Sorry. Well, I haven't visited really there in the winter. So I would be open to that. But, um, the last time I went to Florida previously to that, it was in the middle of the summer and it was paid for my, my father paid for it. It was his birthday. So he flew me out and I hated it. Oh my God. Hated it hated every second of that trip because it was so hot and humid. So my, my, I was like, I mumbled under my breath one time. I wouldn't go back to Florida unless it was paid for. And a week and a half later, I received an email from my husband. He forwarded it to me. Long story short, it was that he won an entirely paid trip to Florida, to Orlando. <laughs> because that's where I went before to like the park but it was hotel flight car food swimming with dolphins park entrance park parking 
Um, everything, everything, the entire trip was entirely paid for. And I just sat there like, well, <laughs> that's how it works. So I always tell my clients, go crazy with just like throwing things out into the ethers of like, I said it the other day, because I, I keep bringing up this story lately and I'm like, so what else do we want to do? Oh, oh, and it wasn't even true that I wouldn't go back to Florida unless it was paid for. We never did go. We let that trip expire. We had a year to use it and it was during COVID time. So I'm like, we just couldn't get it in. That's how much I really didn't want to go to Florida. That's so funny. But we got a trip and we didn't use it. So yeah, but that is, <laughs> that is how it works. You just have to choose what it is that you want. And then you just like, let it go. A lot of those things, like you don't have to spend your entire life affirming. There's a lot of coaches that talk about that. I get into that a little bit with certain, like if I want to create a belief, um, sometimes I will affirm a lot more for something because it feels good. Um, it depends on your mental diet. It really does. I sent out an email to my, to a lot of you it was a post to of like our affirmations enough and i said absolutely not it's not enough affirmations are a hundred percent not enough your mental diet has to be good because you can affirm all day long that i'm a powerful creator or well geez if you do that with a crappy mental diet you're going to be creating a lot of things you don't want because you're a powerful creator right you've developed that belief that you're a powerful creator but then you're talking about all the garbage that's going on so, but if you keep saying I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, but the rest of the 18 hours a day, you're like, oh my God, there's nothing in my account and I don't know where money is going to come from and I'm so worried and my bills aren't getting paid and all that. It, it's just not going to work. It's not going to work because your dominant focus is on lack of money. So anyway, if you guys want more of this, join the Manifesting Zone, join the Powerful Creator Society. Reach out to me if you want more information on either or both. You get to choose which one you want to be in, which one you are more like, I want to say qualified to be in because the Powerful Creator Society is for a little bit more advanced. People who have a little bit better hold, I'll say a little bit better hold on your mental diet. So, okay guys, I gotta run. I've got things I gotta go do. My dog is starving. This poor child of mine. We make his food and we ran out last night. And I, I just, we couldn't get to the store and he's been barking at me. So I've been feeding him like everything that I eat and he just is like so sad. So I'm gonna go get his food and make it. And yeah, so have an amazing Friday guys. And I hope to be back tomorrow. I probably won't be back on Sunday because I've been, I've become this crazy, um, football lover. I don't know. Out of the blue, a couple months ago, I became like this, like really into football, almost 50 years of my life, totally not caring about football. Now all of a sudden I watch it all. <laughs> so Sundays are kind of my day now to really get into it. Let me see real quick, last minute, if there's any comments that I'm missing, because I just kind of stare off into the ethers while I'm on this call and I don't really pay attention too much. So if you're interested in any of uh, either membership or both memberships, reach out to me and I will answer any questions you have. But yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Have an amazing rest of your day. Stay positive. Tell yourself everything's working out in your favor. Everything's amazing. Life is beautiful. All that good stuff. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.